ITBC. What's the deal? So there was a heavyweight prospect that got upset this past weekend. Aaron Gorilla Green from the Twin Cities area, hometown local kid or fighter. He is 16-1 and one now with 14 knockouts. He lost to Dangerous Damon Reed. Some of you guys remember Reed. He actually got a title shot for the WBO against um, Herbie Hyde. She was at 18 years ago. It was when uh, Hyde won that vacant title against uh, Tony Tucker. But title shot 18 years ago. Um, there's footage of YouTube on YouTube of Damon Reed. Uh, he used to be a former sparring partner for Tommy Morrison. Reed's 44 years old now. He's fought Derek Bryan, uh, Lawrence Claybay. He also fought James Tony a few years ago. Um, so he's still around, man. He's still giving guys problems. He just beat a uh, heavy-handed prospect, a guy who I've mentioned before on my channel, hometown guy, real heavy hands. He was a top 10 amateur in 2009, 2010 here in the States. He was a top 10 guy in the country, you know, super heavyweight, 6'4", about 260. Um, I'm kind of upset, man, a little bit. I'm not going to lie because a hometown guy, and I like pulling for the hometown guys to do good or to do well. And um, Reed came here, you know, he came here and uh, he got the job done. Uh, from the opening bill, it was clear that, you know, Green, Green was going to have to earn him a victory. Uh, Reed was using his veteran savvy tactics, using his, his movement. Uh, trying to frustrate Green, Green, trying to control the, uh, you know, just trying to control the ring with his uh, ring journalship, trying to use his jab, trying to, you know, just make it hard for Green, tying him up when he had to. Um, Green, he caught up with Reed, he broke his ribs, uh, and that forced Reed to really rely on his experience. He was able to do it. Um, when he got his rear broke, he went down, he took the eight count because he knew something was wrong. He kept his composure. He got up and he dominated the next four rounds. Um, Reed also knocked Green down in the fifth round. It was a six rounder. He won a majority decision. Um, oh, man. Another prospect gets upset. And for these prospects, man, like if you're getting another guy like, I guess, Damon Reed now. Guys like Jamal Woods, John Bolden, Garrett Wilson, Avery Gibson, those type of guys, man, they have real deceptive records. Um, but some of you prospects out there, if, you, if you're an American prospect and you're fighting these guys, man, you better come in there in tip-top shape. You know, these guys do have a lot of losses, but they're deceptive um, with the skill and, you know, having stamina and being able, being able to take shots and give shots back, being tough guys, you know, guys with a lot of experience by learning on the job they might they may not have a lot of amateur experience but he might have 50 60 pro experience fights um probably lost 30 of them but if a guy's only get knocked out once or twice in that many fights and uh has experience i mean he was learning on the job and sometimes fighters like that are tough fighters to deal with um for prospects sometimes you know so i hope aaron green stays with it he is 33 years old but i hope he stays with it man I got a chance to work out at uh, Uppercut Gym in Northeast Minneapolis um, with Aaron. So I've seen him up close, but that was about six years ago when he was um, fighting in amateurs. But I want to see more of him. I hope he sticks with him. I hope he doesn't, uh, you know, take too much time off from the sport. I hope he stays uh, active and I hope he gets another fight soon and uh, try to get his confidence back going. YTBC, I'm out.